Brooklyn, you do not stand a chance. You do not stand a chance, Brooklyn. I'm giving you one game because Mikel Bridges could go off for like 40 or 50 points. Doc Rivers could coach himself into the corner. We've seen it time and time again. So if you want to know why I have the Sixers winning in five games, a gentleman sweep, check this out. <music> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I upload and I'll go live, you'll be instantly notified. And for when I go live this Saturday for the Sixers and Nets game, you'll be instantly notified. Let's get right into it. Joel Embiid is going to feast. Joel Embiid is going to feast. Brooklyn cannot contain Joel Embiid. Now these Nets fans who have been DMing me, tweeting at me, you know they're going to say, oh, Nicholas Claxton can hold him down. Dude, no. Claxton cannot hold him down. Now, the only reason you guys are saying that, because he's been up there in the defensive player of the year conversation throughout the most of the year until the end of the year, he kind of fell off. He kind of fell flat. And Brooke Lopez took over. Jalen Jackson Jr. took over that. So, Claxton is not going to be able to handle Jerome Bede. Not two guys. Not three guys, maybe not even four guys, because you know how Joel Embiid operates. He's going to use his footwork, his post work, and then he's going to dominate. Like, it is clear as day. His play, his game, is a mixture of a dominant Shaquille O'Neal and a post work of Hakeem Olajuwon. Like, we know what that is like. We know what Joel Embiid can do on that floor, and he is the MVP. So, you got to put that into consideration. And then you got James Harden, who leads the league in assists. You know he's going to get that double-double. You know he's going to find the right players to get in that shot. You know that that pick-and-roll is going to work between him and Joel Embiid. And once Joel Embiid gets to that free throw and elbow, it's basically automatic. Automatic from the free throw and elbow. I'm telling you guys, no one can stop that pick-and-roll. Except for Doc Rivers. Now, Doc Rivers tends to go away from the pick and roll a lot. And then we tend to fall back, lose the lead. And then once Joel B comes out of the game, the lead is gone. And we pretty much lose the game until Joel B comes back and saves the day. So, Joel B is going to feast. James Harden is going to feast. Tyrese Maxey, he's going to be one of my X factors. He is going to be... One of my X factors, he's going to get between 20 and 25 points per game. I know you're going to say that the Brooklyn Nets are dogs, that they're willing to fight, but it's cute, you know? It's cute. It's like seeing one of those baby dogs over there just be like baby puppies. And they're like, oh, look at me. That's basically you. That is basically the Brooklyn Nets over there. I mean, come on. Now, when it comes to Doc Rivers, the one thing I do not want to see, well, a couple of things. I don't want them to stem away from the pick and roll. I don't want to see P.J. Tucker in the dunker spot. You needed him at the corner three and put Tobias Harris in the dunker spot. Because Tobias Harris is younger, he can get the rebound. And P.J. Tucker, you know, in that corner three, he can knock it down for most of the time in the big game situations. So that is why I want P.J. Tucker out there in that corner and I want to see more team ball, you know? I don't want to see, like, a lot of James Harden tween, 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 between the legs, th step back three. I don't want to see that. I want to see team basketball, and I want to see Joel B go to work, because Brooklyn Nets, they do have some scores. Mikel Bridges averages 27 points per game this whole season. He played 83 games because of that trade between the Brooklyn Nets and the Phoenix Suns. So he played a total of 83 games this year. He has never missed a game throughout his entire career and even at Villanova. He has never missed an entire career. He never missed a game in his entire career. Insane. Spencer Dinwiddie, when he's open, he can knock it down. Joe Harris, when he's open, he can knock it down. Seth Curry, when he's open, he can knock it down. I want to see Cam Thomas out there, though. I want to see him get his buckets and then be shut down. So, I want to see Cam Thomas out there and see what he can do. So, this series is going to be fun. 
please come to the live stream Saturday at 1 o'clock. It's going to be insane. And stay tuned for my Tobias Harris video because I'm going to go off on Tobias Harris in that video. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And while you're down there, leave a comment. How far do you have the Sixers winning this series? How many games? I got them in five. So while you're down there, let me know and hit that like, hit that subscribe. I'll catch you all on Saturday for the Sixers and Nets play-by-play. -play. Let's get it. MK out.